In this video, we demonstrate how to use Nanomaterial Modeler to build carbon nanotube and graphite. In our first example, we will build a zigzag carbon nanotube with a diameter of 10 angstroms and a length of 30 angstroms. First, click the Nanomaterial Type button and choose Carbonaceous Materials Carbon Nanotube. Note that the currently selected material region is updated after selecting a specific material. To create a zigzag carbon nanotube with a 10 angstrom diameter, set both the N and M values of the chirality to 8. When you update any nanotube properties, Nanomaterial Modeler automatically estimates the diameter and unit length of the carbon nanotube. We can see a diameter of 10.9 angstroms and a unit length of 2.5 angstroms in this case. To increase the tube length, increase the cell copy's value. In this demo, the carbon nanotube's target length is 30 angstroms, so we set the cell copies to 12. Note that Nanomaterial Modeler covers any n plus m values ranging from 4 to 25. The Periodic Options section defines the periodicity of the carbon nanotube along each axis. We choose the z-periodic option to model an infinite carbon nanotube parallel to the z-axis. The last option for users to consider is the system type. Nanomaterial Modeler performs solvation using water. You can use the vacuum option to solvate any nanomaterial with different solvents using multi-component assembler. In this demo, we choose the solvated option for the carbon nanotube. Click the Next Step button to proceed to the Solvent Options page. You can check the carbon nanotube structure by clicking View Structure. Nanomaterial Modeler provides two methods to adjust water box size. Specify water box size and fit water box size to material size. In the first option, you specify the system size manually. Note that we cannot modify the z-value because we chose the z-periodic option in the previous step. The default values come from the nanomaterial size in step 1. To solvate the carbon nanotube with a 20 angstrom water layer, increase both the x and y values from 10.87 to 30.87 angstroms in the specify water box size section, or set the edge distance to 10 angstroms in the fit water box size to material size section. In the Add Ions section, you can add ions and select the ion placing method. In this demo, we solvate the carbon nanotube with a 0.15 molar potassium chloride solution. Note that you must recalculate the number of ions after making any change. After clicking the Calculate Number of Ions button, click the Next button to proceed. You should check the solvated carbon nanotube structure by clicking View Structure. Note that the inside of the carbon nanotube is empty. If the generated structure is different from what you expected, you can retrieve your Charm GUI project using Job Retriever. Copy the job ID and use Job Retriever in the Input Generator menu. Paste the job ID in the Job ID text box and click the Submit button. Job Retriever shows the project name, step, and recovery link of each step. In this demo, we are not going to change any options. Instead, click the Go link for step 2 to return to the previous step. Click the Next button to proceed to the input generation step. In this step, select the simulation software you want to run your simulation. After checking the software, set the temperature for equilibration and production runs. Click the Next button in the bottom right to generate simulation inputs. After a few minutes, download all input and output files by clicking the Download button. For our second example, we will build an infinite trilayer graphite structure along only the x-axis. Choose Graphite as the nanomaterial type, and select Box as the nanomaterial shape. We'll set the x and y length to 60 and 30 respectively. To model a trilayer, set the z-length value to 10. You can check the number of graphite layers that will be generated automatically in the unit cell info panel. We choose X for periodic options and select Vacuum as our system type then click Next. You can check the trilayer graphite structure by clicking View Structure. In this example, we click Fit Box Size and set the edge distance to 15 angstroms. Click the Next button to proceed to the PBC Options page. All remaining steps are the same as in the previous example. You can see the system information in the System Size section. Click the Next button to proceed to the input generation step. In this step, select the simulation software you want to run your simulation. 
After checking the software, set the temperature for equilibration and production runs. Click the Next button in the bottom right to generate simulation inputs. After a few minutes, download all input and output files by clicking the Download button. You can check the files of all previous steps after decompressing the TGZ file and read a simulation example in the README file under each simulation software directory.